friends, Bradley Pals, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. As you can see, I'm not on a river yet. I'm on my way to the river, but I'm not there yet. Uh, you can't really see because the mountains are over the back there, but there's a lot of snow up there. This wind is whipping across the lake. It's cold, man. I know, not cold like Canada cold, but for us, it's pretty cold. I think we have like a high of six today or seven, something like that, anyway. But it looks beautiful, right? Anyway, bit of a mixed mash of stuff this week. Got a few different kind of things I'm gonna update you on. I've got some stuff to tell you. I've got a few different fishing trips I've done over the last couple of weeks I'm gonna mash together for you. Just bring you up to speed on what I've been up to. So I caught up with my buddy Abernat the other week. He owns and runs easily the best Indian restaurant in Topol. It's called Incredible India. And we started talking ages ago about how he's never fished and he'd like to. And we finally got it together. We met up and I took him out for a morning. And we had a great time. Nicely done. That's the one. Now we're just playing the game, brother. Awesome. Good fish. Take your time. Take your time. Don't let him go. Let him go. That's it. Come to walk towards me a bit. That's it. Head up. That's a really good fish. Okay, that's enough. Now rod tip up. Try and keep his head up. Oh, <laughs> dude! <laughs> dude, that's the tank. Nice. All right, my friend, give him a drink. Ooh. That's perfect. <laughs> Just let him go. Okay, man. Yeah, boy! <laughs> it was a super cool morning. He did really, really well. I picked it up really quickly and he was buzzing. It's a really cool vibe to be around. I'm pretty sure I can get him out again before the end of winter and get him back on some fish. If you ever come through Topor, you should absolutely drop in there. Incredible India. Go check it out. Best food by far in town. Oh, it's pretty windy. I seem to be quite shouty. I'm just gonna bring things down a peg or two. Yesterday I caught up with my buddy Dean. He's up from the South Island to fish. Actually, I don't think he's fished the North Island before, but he's up to fish the Tongarero and the local rivers because he's never done it before. So I caught up with him yesterday just to show him around a little bit. It was absolutely bucketing down all day. We had to move around a little bit before we found some fish, but then once we got onto them, we had a great time. It was, it was an awesome day. How are you, man? Good, good, to good to see you.
You'd probably be okay for that fast yeah, if I'll over do, the back. I'll do that. I'll do that. Yeah, I'll just pick my way up the inside. Yeah. Yeah. Then we can uh, fish it pretty thoroughly between us. Eh? I'm pick this piece of water apart between us. I've gone light, and I'm going to fish this kind of shallower, softer stuff on the inside. Dean's gone heavier. He's going to fish that um, faster stuff over the back there. So in between us, we can pretty much fish everything fairly well hopefully idiot I'm not paying attention I'm about half over yo Cheers, brother. Silvery silver. Nice from fresh, eh? Cheers, bro. Nice one. Yeah, yeah. Well pretty, pretty, pretty fish. Hooks out in the net. Yeah. Look at that. Just pretty. Just stunning, eh? Yeah. See you, lady. Go do your thing. All right, so that was nice. So, on the board, miss board. So I'm going to just leave that bottom part there to the to the brother. And I'm just going to pick apart this piece of water at the top here. Just real kind of short, quick, accurate drifts. And work my way around and across it. And that fish took, uh, yeah, took a uh, flashback pheasant tail. So onto the naturals. Yo! Nice and fish. Man, I put some drift through there to find this guy. Oh, thanks, bro. That's a good fish in there. Yeah. Freshy. All right, coming in. Cheers, bro. Just perfection, eh? Yeah, that's better. See you, lady. Yeah. Yo. Oh, oh, oh. That's a better fish, bro. Jack, by the looks of it. Well done. Three for three. Yo. Come on, baby. Oh, let's go. Yep. Here we go. <laughs> oh. Yo. Oh. 
like a better fish. Down in the mm -hmm. Oh, this is just ridiculous. I mean, there's so many fish just hold up in the sort of hole behind us. I don't know how many, maybe six or seven fish to cut out of here. Yep. Rain is cranking. Nice. Fishing from pretty damn good. Yeah, it's been a good time. Ah, uh, cool colors. So we can see if we can get one more. Oh, beautiful fish. Yep. She's a little fatty. Go, go, go. All right, here we go. This is ridiculous, dude! Oh. On the natural again, too! Oh, such a cool thing. Look at that! Just clean, eh? <laughs> Just nothing wrong with him. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, it was good fun. Uh, I think actually my jacket is still wet. I'm gonna meet up with him and his buddy Mike. Uh, pretty soon actually and I'm going to show them around a different river just to show them a few spots just show them somewhere different before they go home tomorrow I'm on my way there now and um, actually gives me a real good excuse to take the single spay rod here and try and catch a couple of fish on the swing because I'm a little bit obsessed with that at the moment stay tuned because a little bit later I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna tell you a little thing I've got going on now so I'll catch up with you and Dean and Mike on the river very soon all right we got here three casts Frozen. Yeah, buddy. Oh, it's such a good feeling. Sick. That's a fun way to catch a fish. Tug is the drug, mate. It's different from when you were a teenager. It's a different kind of tugging. <laughs> That's cool. That is a cool, cool fish. Oh, that's a mean fish. Look at that. That's a cool, angry fish. See you, brother. Get out of here, you. Okay, so you can see it's pretty cold. Pretty cold with that wind. But we're uh, poking around just trying to find some water where there aren't people. You know, I've got Dean fishing up through this run here. Nymphing styles. Heavy weight. Glow bugs, that kind of stuff. I'm going to swing down this straight here. Stoked about that last fish, or well, that first fish, that f well, first and last fish, because uh, that was a really cool eat from a piece of water I haven't actually swung before. Something else I wanted to announce to you guys, I've actually finally pulled the trigger and I've created a Patreon account. Been umming and ahhing about whether to do that or not for a while now, but I thought, nah, why not? I'll put it out there and then it's out there. So if you guys ever feel like contributing a little bit more to help me make these videos and do bigger, better and cooler stuff, you can head on over there, a couple of different tiers of donations, and you can just help me fund this channel and what I'm doing and hopefully bring you guys better stuff. I'll leave the link in the description below. 
if you go there and you do donate big love from me for that and thank you so much for anyone that goes there and does that so actually today i have my first person sign up on patreon david chapman if you're watching bro thank you so much i really really appreciate it anyway like i said i'll link that in the description below if you feel like going over and helping me do what i do and bring you guys videos i really really appreciate it i'm gonna go jump in here swing down here see if i can catch a fish Oh, that might have been a fish. Still there? Yep, still there. Still there, still there. Yes, yes, yes! Oh, that was cool. Yeah, boy! See you, bro. There's a fish. Yep. Oh! Sick. Where are we going? Are we going down there? Or are you coming up here? More a low right angle. Just trying to lead him upstream. It just seems to work for some reason. Like, lots of in the water, low. Nice! Skinny mini, skinny mini, we have to eat some more food. Okay, so I just threw all my stuff into a tree. So I have to do a, a cheeky river retie here. It does give me a chance to talk you through what I'm using. So I've got a Frank, which is the Helios 3 uh, 5 weight F. Uh, so it's a wicked, wicked rod. I, I do love it. It's, it's The F is a perfect rod for this kind of fishing. Uh, the D. Actually, for the, the Helios 3D, I did a guest review for Nick at Into Fly Fishing. I'll, uh, I'll link that up here if you want to go check that out. Uh, it just kind of gives you a breakdown of the 3D and kind of what I like about it and, and what kind of situations I think it's good for fishing in. So go check that out. While you're over there, drop him a like, give him a follow, show him some love. Got the Mirage LT, which is, which is this guy. You see this all the time. On there I've got a Scientific Angler's Integrated Skagit line, which, which is an intermediate sink. This one is anyway. They do a floating and they do an intermediate. I uh, just find that the intermediate helps get those flies down a little bit better, a little bit quicker, uh, which is really helpful this time of year. And then off of that I've got a uh, 7 inch per second sonar sink tip. And I had a woolly bugger on there. And I think that was my last one. Oh no, there's one. Yeah, my last one. This is my last one. Woolly bugger with the cone head. It's brilliant. Been uh, doing very well on this the last couple of weeks. About four feet of 12 pound or 1x absolute supreme fluoro. Left his loop to the woolly bugger. Barb crushed, obviously. Good to go. Oh, that was a fish. Got some interest. Yep, yep. Oh, I did it. I messed it up. I lifted the rod tip. Screwed it. Oh yeah, that was a great hit. Oh, it is off. Oh yes, that was brutally brutal. Oh, and it's gone. Fish, that's a fish, that's a fish. Yes. Very next swing. Oh, it's off too. Yeah. Still there. Oh. Fish. Man, there's some fish sitting in there. Still there. There we go, there we go, there we go. Nice. Hello, mate.
see if we can see him. He's got to be somewhere. I don't know if they went downstream. But if they're not here, I, don't know, I guess they did. Found you. Oh, that was super cool. The boys are off, they're on their way back home tomorrow, and they had a pretty good time by all accounts. I think they really enjoyed the different, just the different nuances of North Island fishing to what they're used to down south. It's interesting to talk to them about that kind of stuff because, well, all the stuff that I think when I go down to the South Island, they think about the same sort of stuff when they come here. It's cool, it's interesting. Pretty cool afternoon, um, enjoying that. I enjoy fishing with Dean. I'm gonna definitely do some more of that when he comes back in September, so stay tuned for that. And then when I go down to the South Island for South Island Divers 6, we're gonna catch up and we'll do some fishing down there too. So definitely stay tuned for that. Right, I'm gonna go home and start editing this video because I'm way behind schedule for this week. As usual, great to see you guys. Give me a thumbs up, drop me a comment in the comment section below and all that great stuff. If you haven't subscribed, boop, hit the button, join the team. I'll catch you on Friday for a uh, cheeky, cheeky little Friday fella. And until then, have a great week. See you on Friday, peace.